Affinity Photo has live stacking functionality, where you can group a range of images and run statistical operations on them. One such use for this is object removal, and I'll demonstrate on this set of images. You'll see as I move through each image that they were shot handheld, and in every image there are pedestrians and or vehicles. I can stack these images to remove both entirely. So, in Affinity Photo, I can perform image alignment and group the images into a live stack simultaneously by going to File, New Stack. On the dialog, I'll click Add and navigate to where my images are stored. Then I'll shift click to select all the images and click Open to add them to the file list. I want to leave automatically align images checked since my images were shot handheld, but if your own images were obtained locked off on a tripod, you can potentially disable this, which will speed up the stacking process. I'll click OK, and Photo will then align and stack the images into a single document. We will actually see the final result straight away, where all pedestrians and vehicles have been removed from the scene. This is because the live stack group we see here on the Layers panel is set to a median operator by default. I can click on the operator icon to change the operator, and we will instantly see the result on the document view. You'll see that mean displays a faint representation of all the pedestrians and vehicles, since it produces an average of all the pixel values across the range of images. In comparison, median returns the middle value from the range of pixel values, which is beneficial for an object removal workflow because we could have quite a range of bright and dark pixel values across the images. Mean would end up being skewed by this range, whereas median can avoid it. What this operator is doing is returning those middle pixel values and rejecting the pixel values that are outside of that range, which in this case is the moving pedestrians and vehicles. These rejected pixels are referred to as outliers. The outlier operator effectively produces the opposite result to median. It exposes all outlier pixels across the range of images that median would reject. It's possible to produce some interesting composition results with outlier, but as we're focused on object removal, I'll set the operator back to median. I'll expand the live stack group and quickly explain how you need to shoot your images for object removal to be effective. If I option click on Mac, Alt click on Windows to isolate each image in turn, you will see that in every image, a different area of the composition contains pedestrians and vehicles. Crucially, however, where in one image an area might be occupied, that same area in several other images is unoccupied. The more images you have with that same area being unoccupied, the better your chances of producing a truly clean result. Median is the most resistant operator in statistics, but it still needs a sufficient data set. So if I only had one or two images where this area was completely clear, for example, the final result would most likely have faint traces or smears of the pedestrian detail. So overall, Median stacking is more useful for slightly populated scenes, as opposed to a largely populated scene such as a huge crowd of people. With that in mind, I can exit isolation mode by clicking on the parent live stack group here. Then I might want to reintroduce one of the removed objects back into the scene. For example, if I isolate the top image layer, I might decide to bring this bus back in. The easiest way to achieve this is to duplicate the layer using Command J on Mac, Control J on Windows. Then drag it out of the Live Stack group and place it at the top of the layer stack. Now I'll add an empty mask to this layer to hide it completely. And I'll select the Paintbrush tool, go across to the Brushes panel, and on the Masking category, I'll choose a large, soft, round brush. Then I'll make sure my active color is set to white and paint into the area where the bus is. Now I've inadvertently revealed some of the pedestrians, so I'll zoom in, use X on the keyboard 
to switch to black. Then paint back over this area to hide them again. And there we go. This was a video demonstrating how to quickly stack a series of images and remove objects from the scene. Then mask back in any objects you wish to keep. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.